good Montana fam? It's your boy, Stax Montana, man, back out here on this NBA 2K24, my career feature. The finger roll finesse of the layup, legend of contact, conqueror, Freddie Banks, and you already know what time it is, baby. We bringing back that Freddie Banks, my league, my career, and we about to take it over. You already know step one of setting up the Freddie Banks, my league, my career is dropping him in a draft class, and that's exactly what we did. Now let's go look at these mock drafts and see where they got Freddie Banks going possibly, you feel me? And uh, we looking like seventh overall to the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, when I made Freddie, I only made him a 70 overall because we want to use Synergy 2K to upgrade Freddie. Y'all should know what Synergy 2K is already. All you do is pick your name, your position, jersey number, how long you want the season to be, um, the game version, NBA 2K24. You put the height. You know what I'm saying? You just make your player exactly how you want to. Once you do that, you transfer those same attributes over to NBA 2K24 on your My League player in the draft class. Put them in the draft class. Y'all know how they go with you anyway. We got Freddie Banks done and ready. Now let's look at um, the scouting report. Um, we don't know the ceiling or the floor for Freddie just yet. Like I said, he is a low overall. That's why I say C minus overall. Uh, does a fantastic job creating shots off the dribble. That's great. Um, good on ball defender. Can get some steals here and there. That's even better. Very good one on one defender. Able to check shifty ball handles. I like what they saying about the boy Freddie, but the weakness is jump shot with any range is a big question mark for this guy. Hey, give me a break, bro. You know, I ain't have many points to go ahead and upgrade my player, but don't worry, we gonna get there. I usually start at the beginning of the regular season, then simulate and then go from there, but since the real life regular season is over, I went ahead and started from today. We already know who the champion is. We already know who won the MVP, the finals. MVP. We already know all of these things already. Shout out to the Boston Celtics. Shout out to Jason Tatum for getting the job done. But uh, with that being said, it's time to move on to the off season. And this is where things get crazy. We're going ahead and check out the player retirement. Shout out to Dirk, you know what I'm saying? Check out, let's see who the player that retired in the league. LeBron James, he retired before he got to play with Bronny. That's tough. Udonis has him retired in real life. Chris Paul, he didn't retire in real life, but Andre Iguodala did retire in real life. We got the fat boy gangsta, big booty Kyle Lowry retired. Oh, bro. Let's check out Hall of Fame inductees. Out of all of those players that just retired, let's see which ones made it to the Hall of Fame. And we got LeBron, Chris Paul, and Russell Westbrook. Maybe Iggy should have been here. Maybe. I don't know. He did get a finals MVP. He's a, what, four-time champion with the Warriors? Maybe three. I'm not sure if he was there for all four. We got the draft lottery. Hey, bro, things are about to change. This can determine Freddie Banks' future. What team may draft him? We about to find out with this draft lottery. Here we go, things are about to get real. The NBA draft lottery, and I don't even know why I'm nervous right now. It's not like I'm going number one overall. Let's get this thing started. The Sacramento Kings at 14, and they stay at 14. Usually, picks four, three, 14 through 10 usually stay about the same. You can even make it all the way to seven. And they usually stay about the same. It's usually those top six picks where things get a little crazy. So far, the draft lottery is going exactly how it's supposed to go so far. And the Atlanta Hawks actually dropped back to four, to 11. The Grizzlies here at 10. So things did change up a little bit. And the draft lottery, that's tough for the Hawks. They had the number one pick in real life. Uh, I guess they couldn't get it done here. The San Antonio Spurs, who was supposed to have the eighth pick, but it looked like they jumped into the top four. So shout out to the Spurs, one of the first teams to move. Um, the Hornets, they get the seventh pick. The Wizards here with the sixth pick, and they stay put at number six. At number five, we got the Detroit Pistons. They had the fifth pick in real life, and they got the fifth pick here as well. At number four, the San Antonio Spurs. Will they stay at number four? Ooh. The Spurs move into the top three. The San Antonio Spurs again. And they stop here at number three. Shout out to the Spurs. The Houston Rockets at number two. And they stay put at number two. That means the number one overall pick belongs to the Chicago Bulls. And honestly, the Chicago Bulls need everything they can get because uh, we 
see what's happening with them in real life, bro. Hey, bro. I had to spin the block and take a look at the mock drafts right quick. And it looked like Freddy fell out the top 10. Maybe. Bro, they got me going 11th overall to the Atlanta Hawks, bro. I'm not trying to go to the Hawks, bro. They already got Trey Young. I'm not trying to start my career on the bench. And probably my whole career on the bench playing behind Trey Young. I ain't really going for all of that right there. But uh, let's keep it moving. Let's go to staff signing. We're just going to go ahead and simulate all of that. We don't really care about none of that right there. You know, let me go ahead and skip past that. Let's check out the draft combine right quick and see what's going on here. Let's see if Freddie competed. Yes, he did compete in the draft con, Brian. He had a really fast uh, uh, sprint drill, lame uh, agility time. His vertical was okay, not the greatest. His bench press, he really couldn't get it up on the bench. But he did pretty good for a point guard. I'm looking at all the point guards, and he around the top for that. Um, standing 15 foot shot, 18 out of 25 ain't bad. Moving 15 out of 25, gotta get better. And uh, the three pointer is not bad at all either. Seeing that I didn't really upgrade my three-point shot that much. So um, I'm liking my performance in the draft combine. But let's see if I can perform even better on one-on-one -on -one team workouts. Your boy per performed magnificent. I'm excited for what the draft have in store for us. Right now it's looking like I might go in between anywhere between like 5 and like maybe 12 range. I don't know. But whatever team pick your boy, they going to get a monster on the court. It is time for the NBA draft and lives are about to change. But before we get into the draft, though, let's go ahead and check out that uh that mock draft one last time to see where they got your boy going after all of the pre-draft workouts, the individual workouts, and things of that nature. Let's see if they still got me going number 11 to the Atlanta Hawks, which I really don't want to go. And the Hawks not even picking at 11 no more. And I'm not even, what the heck is going on? Oh, heck no, nah, bro. There's no way my pre-draft workouts was that bad, bro, that I dropped all the way to 17. Let me try the other mock drafts. In the 2K mock draft, where am I? Oh, I'm right here. The 2K mock draft, they got me up at 12. To the, I don't want to go to the Mavericks either. They, they took me down from uh, the Atlanta Hawks, who already got a point guard, the Raptors, who got Emmanuel quickly, and then the Mavericks, who got Kyrie and Luke. Bro, I ain't trying to go to none of those teams, bro. Um, Hopefully, I get picked by, like, the Blazers. Oh, they got Scoop. The Heat, maybe? I don't know, bro. Make the Spurs to play with Wimby? That would be fire. If I get picked by the Spurs, that would be fire. Um, but I don't know. We're going to see what's going to happen. I guess it's time for the draft, baby. Let's go. It's about to get real. It's draft time, baby. Um, I'm expecting to go as high as 12, bro. I don't know what's going to go on. Anyway, Chicago Bulls are now on the clock, and they take Zachary from France. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but shout out to him. Going number one in real life and in my my league. Let's get it moving forward. Uh, the Houston Rockets are on the clock and they take Alex Sar. Why would they take Alex Sar if they already got Shangoon? I don't understand this move, but uh, maybe they making moves over there. I don't know what's going on with them. The Atlanta Hawks are now on the. I just got picked by the Hawks at number three. How did I get picked so early? Why would the heart? I'm so confused. I, there's a lot going on in my head right now. I don't even know what just happened, but we got pick number three by the Atlanta Hawks. And I'm going to be on the bench, bro. It might be time to request a trade at draft night, bro. I ain't going to hold y'all. Uh, I've been saying for a couple of years now that Freddie Banks has the best court vision I have seen in a decade. His best in the nation, 13.7 assists per game last season. Really hammer that point home. Okay, so your boy really a dimer for a pass first. Maybe they'll start me at the point. Trey Young at the two. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, other homie at the three. I forgot his name. Devontae. I don't. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The other guard they got over there. Anyway, let's move forward in the draft. The Utah Jazz select Robert Dillingham. Okay, moving forward to Detroit Pistons. Mr. Castle. And I'm only really gonna do the top ten picks here because I already got picked. Charlotte take uh, Kaysan George. Bro, this draft right here. Let me know what y'all think about this draft right here in real life, bro. Uh, but a lot of people saying this draft was trash. I don't really have no opinion on that. You feel me? I don't know. Oh, hold up. We got a trade, it look like. The Warriors are sending somebody over for Fred Van Vliet to the Rock, bro. I don't know what's going on, but look like we got a trade. And the Rockets pick up another point guard because they just traded Fred Van Vliet. So the Rockets are making moves in this draft. I like what the Rockets are doing. They're trying to build a contender. 
I said I was only gonna do the top 10 picks, but I'm here. Oh, we got another trade. Uh, John Collins going to the Pacers. Oh, that's high key a fire pickup for the Pacers. The Jazz are making moves. Zach Eady go to the Pelicans. That's kind of fire for them too, not gonna lie. The Atlanta Hawks, they got Dalton. How do you say his last name? Somebody let me know in the comments. How do you say that last name? Anyway, so I'm gonna be teaming up with him in Atlanta. Bro, I don't know what's going on, bro. The Atlanta Hawks making all types of moves. I don't know what's happening right now. But um, there's been a lot of trades going down. I just wanna see what my Knicks pick. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, let's see what the Knicks picked up in this draft right here. And they actually making a trade. Oh, I don't even know what I, I think I made a mistake and pick for them. Let me just go ahead and simula simulate the rest of the draft. I don't know what's going on out here. So your boy went number three overall. I don't a 70. I don't I don't get it, bro. Maybe it's because I maxed out my potential. Like when I was making them, I did put my potential at 99. So maybe that's why I went so early. And that's probably why they had me even earlier in the mock drafts at such a low overall. Or maybe they didn't see the raw talent in your boy. I have no idea, but um. Uh, I'm liking what's going on here. Can we see our like our college stats or anything? Let's see the badges. Ankle breaker, goal, handle for days on goal. And I got both of those badges from Synergy 2K, okay? Um, my attributes, we'll get into the attributes later on, but uh right now, bro, this is kind of fire. Let's go ahead. The Hawks wanted to throw away the third pick. They should have drafted. Oh, great selection. Okay, Philly fan. You're not even an Atlanta fan. What are you talking about? Um, great pick by the Hawks. Okay, see, it seemed like most of the fans are excited that Freddie was drafted third overall by the Hawks. Some fans hated it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Some fans hated it, but hey, well, at least just one fan hated it. She, she a hater, though. I still find it crazy that your boy was drafted by the Atlanta Hawks, bro. Number three overall to pick somebody that high in the, in the um, overall. Ooh, your boy getting that chicken, though. Hold on. Number three pick in the draft. We getting that chicken for real. Let's go take a look at the roster right quick. Where is Trey Young, bro? Wait, did Trey Young get traded? What the heck is going on? And your boy is actually the third string point guard on the team. But it looked like we might be able to get some playing time in there. We got Devontae Graham and Kobe Buffick, Buffkin ahead of me. And then um, Dalton. Looking like he might be the second string. Why oh, keep saying strike again? The backup shooting guard. I don't know what's going. We gotta go look at league trades because there was some trades during that draft as well. As you can see, a whole bunch of trades on draft night. A whole bunch of hirings and firings. Let's take a look at the tra Trey Young and the 2024 first round pick was traded to the Spurs. For their 2024 20, first round pick, Devontae Graham, and the 2025th first round pick, DeJounte Murray, that's what I was trying to say earlier. DeJounte Murray got traded for Jonathan. I, I didn't even peep Jonathan Isaac was on the team. And the 2024 first round pick, the 20. Wait, when did the Hawks make these trades? I don't even remember them making these trades, bro. All of these, what, these trades were made on the 7th, bro. This is so confused. I'm literally so confused on whatever happened here. I simulated past free agency. I did auto for the Atlanta Hawks. I don't like to control any of your free agents. And let's see if there's any key free agents that got moved. Josh Christopher signed. Kelly Oubre re-signed over here. Of course, Maxi got his bread. The Atlanta Hawks signed Buddy Heald. So shout out to Buddy Hill coming over here with your boy. Tobias Harris signed with the Hornets. They finally made a move. Pascal Siakam went to the Jazz. That is tough. Oh my God, bro. It's a lot of moves going down. That probably explains it. That's why they traded for John Collins during the draft. It's making a lot of sense now. Obi Toppin went to the Lakers. No more LeBron. Now y'all got Obi Toppin to root for. Uh, the Pacers signed OG and Anobi. I ain't going to be mad. At least in real life, we still got my dog. He's still in my heart in real life. DeMar DeRozan signed with the Wizards. That's kind of gross, bro. I ain't going to lie. That's kind of nasty. But those are all of the free agency moves. Now it's time to get into Summer League. Our first Summer League game is against the Pelicans. You already know I'm going to be dropping that video tomorrow. So make sure if you're new to the channel, you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss it. Let's take a look at our Summer League roster and see who we got on this thing. Um, And it looked like I might not be starting the Summer League, bro. We got Kobe Bufkin ahead of us on the depth chart. We got to get past this, man, somehow, somewhere. Oh, I forgot. I got to do my off-season drills. I'm going to show you guys that. In the next video, 
You know what I'm saying? Make sure you lock it for that one. Um, we got oh, Dalton starting at the two. AJ Griffin. We got Trendon Watford. And then we got uh, Clifford. I'm not even going to try to say that name, bro. But if this is your first time watching the Stacks Montana video, man, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Also, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. And until next time, man, real fans, stay up and in my Montana fam. What's good, though? Yeah. Hey, no, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I feel like I'm on my way. See, this is the draft and young in the top pick. That will be hitting my phone. They answer the call. Got too many options. Play with my family, my kid. You might figure around and go get your top in. No, I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I'm back in the young nigga locked in. I gotta get to the bag so I can.